Confidence, like art, never comes from having all the answers. It comes from being open to all the questions. Therefore, if you have a dream, don't just sit there. Gather courage to believe that you can succeed and leave no stone unturned to make it your reality. But I know that there are times when you simply don't feel confident. What to do about it? What to do with all this low confidence that we feel most of the times? Whether it is about our studies, our job, relationships, financial well-being, we always feel that we are not confident enough. In this video today, I am going to talk about things that nobody tells you when it comes to confidence. We only try to motivate people in the name of confidence building. But today I'm going to tell you the reasons why you don't feel confident. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I am your trainer Namita and let's talk about the very first reason for your low confidence. You are surrounded by low aspiration people. The people around you do not support your big dreams. They feel that if you think about having a lot of money, it's a bad thing. If you want to have a good status, you want to improve your lifestyle, you want to take bigger leaps, then they feel that you are doing the wrong thing because these people don't believe in self-improvement. Being content with what you have is a very good thing, but at the same time, aspiring for more is very important so that we don't become stagnant in life. So these people who say that having a lot of money is a bad thing, notice that these people don't have a lot of money and they are not working enough to become rich or wealthy in their life. A person who has actually gained a lot of wealth by working hard, by working 24 by 7 into their own venture or in their jobs will never tell you that having a lot of money is a bad thing. So try to change the company that you have, the people with whom you spend most of your time. Now the second reason can be that you don't know your own skills and talents. Yes, that is one of the major reasons you are far away from your own authentic self. You don't know what you are good at. And I, in my one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with many people, I do a lot of consultations. I get to know that these people have no idea about what they like and what they don't like. Their true skills are not known to them only. So this is one of the reasons with those people who feel that their confidence is always low, the people who don't feel confident, this can be the biggest reasons that you're not either aware of your own skills or you are not working on them. Remember that each one of us is born with some talent, born with certain skills. We have to nurture them, polish them and make the best version of ourselves by working on them only. So this can be one reason. Think about it. The third reason can be that you're running after learning new skills instead of utilizing the ones that you have already gained or the things that you already know Whatever you have done in past few years needs to be paid attention to now and you should start building up something from those skills only instead of all the time working on new skills. Sometimes in the process of learning new things and in the process of upgrading yourself with times, you forget your own shine. You don't realize that you've already learned so much and you can make the most out of it now. Yes, the world is doing so much and we also feel under pressure, the peer pressure to do what everybody else is doing. Instead of seeing what we have learned, life changes us every day. You have struggled, you've been betrayed, you have worked on yourself, you have built relationships, you have 
been heartbroken so many times this certainly has taught you very precious lessons pay attention to what you have learned and what has life made you it has made you strong and there are certain things which you have actually gained and learned from it utilize them and use them wisely the fourth reason can be that your self doubt is bigger than your self esteem and here i'm going to tell you that there is a detailed video on self doubt i'm going to link that video here you can go and watch it after this video in this video i have talked about self doubt in detail why do you have so much of self doubt and don't think that everybody has self doubt no how do you see that some people are so confident they don't have self doubt these are the people who got enough support in their life these were the people who were backed up by their communities their families and whoever were there around them but some people are not those fortunate to have such supportive background these people only struggle with self doubt so if you feel that your doubt on yourself is more than your esteem then you certainly need to work on your self doubt and this video is going to help you in a very beautiful way to understand the whole process of self doubt and how you can overcome it now the fifth reason is and this is something which might be common for most of you you depend on other people for your self worth for your validation for seeking approvals all the time in whatever you do in whatever you try your hand at you want other people to come and appreciate you you want them to give you a medal or a certificate and tell you that you are doing fine and here i'm not even talking about bigger things basic things like cooking a meal and waiting for validation that you have cooked a nice meal something very simple like taking care of yourself you want other people to approve of it see there would be times when people around you would not approve of your choices of your directions of your priorities you have to keep walking on your own path any which way whether they feel it is right or not if you feel that what you are doing for your self improvement is important and sufficient for your growth then you have to keep working on it keep going don't wait for validations approvals and your self worth your self worth is yours to decide don't give it in the hands of other people so that they can hurt you further that is not something which you are going to do and after watching this video i am hoping that all you people will pick your self worth in your hands and start becoming a better version of yourself all right now last but not the least you fear change your comfort zone is your best friend let me know if this is not true for you i know that many of you love your comfort zone you don't accept the new ways of thinking the new ways of uh, tackling situations and life you believe that your old methods whatever you've learned whatever has been taught to you is sufficient here i will say one thing that learning sometimes is less important while unlearning a lot of things is more important whatever we have been taught we have been taught comes from somebody's experiences you may have different experiences you may have different struggles so you have to unlearn a lot of patterns and learn new things i would not say simply step out of your comfort zone that is not possible and i understand it you have to keep stretching your comfort zone so that every day you have a little more area to work on yourself so i hope that by all these things that i have shared right now with you you will be able to raise your confidence to a big extent all right so let me know in the comment section if you found this video helpful and you will start working on your self improvement journey to keep your confidence high all the time your self confidence is the only thing which will help you become successful so i'm going to leave you all on this positive note and i will see you 
in my next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye for now.